अब राजा का बेटा राजा नहीं बनेगा अब राजा वो बनेगा जो हकदार होगा क्या बकवास डायलॉग है भाई इतना क्रिंज एनीवेज हे वर्ड्स अप एवरीवन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड इन टुडेज क्वेश्चन वी हैव अ वाइड होमोजीनियस बीम ऑफ लाइट फॉल्स ऑन अ कॉन्केव स्फेरिकल मिरर ऑफ रेडियस आर पैरल टू द ऑप्टिक एक्सिस as you can see in the diagram on the right a small opaque disk of radius small r which is very much less than capital r made of perfectly heat insulating material is placed at a distance r by 4 from the pole of the mirror so this gap is r by 4 in steady state both the surfaces of the disk acquire different temperatures slightly higher than the surroundings find the ratio del t1 by del t2 where delta t1 and delta t2 are the temperature differences of the left and the right surfaces of the disk okay uh and the surrounding okay temperature differences fine so i have already drawn the diagram for easy illustration and saving your time as you can see that this is the concave mirror and the blue line indicates the and these lines actually both blue and the red indicates the incident rays okay uh, so let me consider that p not amount of power is being incident on the whole concave mirror okay and uh, this p not amount of power is incident in a cross sectional area of pi d square okay and out of that pi d square cross sectional area few amount of power is incident on this opaque disk on the left side of the opaque disk okay and the cross sectional area of this disk is pi small r square so p not amount of power is incident for a cross sectional area of pi d square where d is the aperture of the mirror so for pi r square the power incident is into pi r square that is p not divided by d square times r square so this is the amount of heat per unit time is incident on the left side of the opaque disk and this basically maintains the temperature difference of the left side so this one will be directly proportional to del t1 according to newton's law of cooling or you can just reverse it in newton's law of heating because amount of rate of heat incident on the left surface equals to rate of heat emitted uh by the left surface and we know that amount of heat radiated per unit time would be the directly proportional to the temperature difference with the surrounding that's newton's law of cooling now as you can see the right side of the opaque disk okay absorbs only those rays which are coming in an annular region of inner radius r and outer radius x okay fine so basically the rays which are coming in this way are blocked by the opaque disk so only the rays which are within the boundary within this boundary falls on the right side of the opaque disk fine so you can write the same kind of formula again so the surf cross sectional area produced by that annular region is pi x square minus r square and that would be directly proportional to del t2 so p not divided by d square times how can we find x we can find x using the concept of similar triangle so as you can see that x divided by sorry here i have done a simple mistake it should be r by 4 because this one is the focal length and that should be half of the radius of curvature so this one should also be r by 4 okay so as you can see that x divided by r by 2 must be equal to small r divided by r by 4 so x is equal to 2r so here you can write 4r square minus small r square directly proportional to del t2 so p by d square times 3r square directly proportional to del t2 now we need to just find out the ratio of del t1 and del t2 according to our question so just we will divide these two equations and it will give you 
1 by 3 ok. So, this kind of question we have already encountered in previous years of JE advanced. So, I hope this question will be helpful for you. So, if you like the video please do share with your friends and if you are new to this channel please subscribe and I will keep on bringing this kind of helpful illustrations ok. I hope you get a good IIT in this year. Good luck. Peace.